Welcome to the Magnetic Leadership Podcast by Educator Dave Johnson. Good morning, everyone, and what a great time to be in Avini Health. And Chris Bruce, you were saying something that was just an absolutely amazing story and a lot of fun stuff about that. So I'm, I'm going to let you kick it off. Would you tell that amazing story to the rest of us? Sure. So Susan Mayo is a distributor in the Idaho Falls area. She's part of Thane Shively's team. And she's come to a convention. She came to the Avini tour there in Idaho Falls. But she's been having some great experiences with the Avini products, including changes in her vision. So just to give a little bit of background, so Susan's got blood sugar issues that she just texted. She can't get on. Okay. So she's had blood sugar issues for a long time. She's worn glasses since she was in high school. She's in her sixties now. A few years ago, she had a stroke and the stroke destroyed her right side vision. So she has no peripheral vision on the right side. And so she's had corrective glasses for all of these different things. After she started taking our plus mind and vision, she noticed that her vision was changing. She felt like she was seeing more over here than she had before. And the glasses were making things blurry instead of clear. So she goes into her eye doctor that she always goes to. And they just took her glasses, put them on the machine, checked her chart, says, nope, glasses are fine. Gave them back and sent her away. And the next month they were even worse. She's like, there's something wrong with the glasses or there's something wrong with my eyes. Something's changing. And I guess the doctor wouldn't even come out and talk to her, just had the person at the front desk check the glasses and check her chart they match it's not time for your review you're in your 60s sorry and and didn't even deal with her so she just called another random eye doctor in the Idaho Falls area and went in and told him the basics of what was going on with her these are my vision issues I've had for a long time I've been taking some supplements recently my vision's changing my other eye doctor won't even look at it would you just give me an examination so he goes in, the first thing they do is they test her peripheral vision and she tests as normal peripheral vision. She's seeing all the way over where she's supposed to. And so he says, I, I don't know what's going on from what you said. You shouldn't have anything over there. You've got normal peripheral vision. And she's like, yep, that's what I thought. And she says, you're not surprised. Nope, not at all. And so he started looking in her eye because, you know, with diabetics, you have damage to the inside of the eye, loss of blood flow. And he's like, I'm seeing great blood flow in there. There's no damage to the cones. I would say you've never had diabetic retinopathy or anything like it. And he keeps testing things and she's got 20, 20 vision. And he's like, okay, I don't know what's going on here because looking at you, a 60 year old who's had a stroke, who's had diabetes, who's had all these things, your eyes don't look like they're supposed to. So what are you doing? And she says, well, I'm part of a company that works with a guy named Rick Deich. And he goes, Rick Deich. Duke University, Rexall, that Rick Dyche. She goes, oh, yeah, 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 he makes our products. And he goes, I've been following that guy since med school. I've read his papers. I love that guy. He's amazing. She says, oh, yeah, he's so nice. Wait, wait you've met him? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've met him. You, you mean you just talked to him on the phone? And she says, no, no, I've met him in person. I sat at the table and ate food with him. And he, he dropped some expletives and essentially, you know, you're lying. You cannot have met Rick Dyche. And I just kept going on and on. And she says, no, 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 no. He was here in Idaho Falls just like two weeks ago. And he's, Why didn't anybody believe to tell me? And, and anyway, I, well, we didn't know you back then, but she pulled out her bottle. She was prepared. So she brought out her mind and vision and the plus cardio because the doctor started to share his issues with her and said, I've had multiple strokes. I've had COVID seven different times. I've had to move. I've had to change everything. I was out of work for a long time dealing with all this stuff. And I've had to start compounding stuff for myself because my doctors won't help me. And so he's looking at the ingredients on the bottles. He says, I order all of these ingredients and I make something like this for myself. He says, how much does this cost? She says, oh, it's about $50, $55. And so more expletives because it's costing him several hundred dollars a month to order the ingredients to make what we have. And so he says he doesn't care what the company is or where it is. If Rick Dyche is in it, he wants it. So I told that story to Rick. Was it just yesterday? No, it's a Thursday. And anyway, so Rick was like, good fan. So that was pretty fun. But yeah, we love Rick. We're lucky to have him. And just the fact that we can sit down at a table and have lunch with a world famous biochemist 
that uh, other doctors are following with giddy joy and wish they could meet. I think we're in a good place. And our stuff saves that, you a lot of money having Rick make it instead of you ordering it and making it in your kitchen. A, a little more convenient. A little and, more convenient. And, and of course, Rick is, has made some amazing products over uh, more than a quarter of a century, billions of dollars worth of stuff. It's really neat to have a new validation, though. That's really cool. Yeah. Such He's a, ours, all ours. Yeah, yeah, quite the artist. And of course, these are products. That, that's a really amazing story, but it's a person's story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to heal, cure, treat, the medical stuff. This is a nutritional supplement that supports eyes and brain. And if you look at the ingredients, there is a lot of really nice research about all of that. But there we are. So anyway, I want to share a PowerPoint and we'll go into just a few other things here and just really excited about where we are in this business. But I think first and foremost, I like this idea. Uh, we, we need more love in the world. And when we were at the event with Avini in April, our convention, just a lot of things happened, but I would say a lot of people agreed that the chief characteristic of Avini Health is health, but it really is love. And so much of happiness and the fulfillment of life is just who we love and who loves us. And being able to share something, I think, inside all of us, that we find something that we truly believe in, we want to share with the people that we love. And we've got some powerful things to share. It's also been said that problems out there that's where opportunity lies, that the greater the problem, the greater the opportunity. There's a lot of problems out there. And that's what we're going to do in this presentation right here is a really big problem that more and more people are becoming aware of. And that graphic shows a little bit about how our environment is and, and how it ought to be. And more than anything, if you're really thinking about what makes us happy, if our bodies are working well, if we're healthy, everything's working. That's such a foundation for everything else. If you don't feel good, that just takes the edge off of anything else, all other possibilities. And, and all of our life, we've heard of these fundamental things and, and we can't argue on any of it. Eating right. So much of health has to do with just our lifestyle, what we eat, exercising, a good night's rest, all of these things. The reality today, because of uh, the way we grow our food, it's really hard to get an optimum amount of the micronutrients without taking supplements. That is a way to really optimize things. Having all of this stuff, you should be really healthy. And, and yet, for the first time ever, in the last few years, it's scary, but we're actually, life expectancy is becoming shorter and shorter. And yet, a lot of this stuff we know, are we doing it? What's happening out there? And I think on a real fundamental level, oh my goodness, it's uh, mounting prescriptions, healthcare, all of this stuff. How do you get better? And if you do get sick, what can you do? It's, oh my goodness. Well, here's one of the big things right here. Are you toxic? What is our environment like? And what is a toxin? Well, it's a substance that damages us. It messes things up. It's like little tiny micro monkey wrenches in our biological machinery that just goof things up. And so here's some things that I think is really important. And I think everybody's more and more hearing toxin, heavy metal, body burden, how to detox. And here's just some fundamental things right here. No matter how clean you eat, it, it, it's still there. If you do some research and not just some of the obvious things out there, but some of the most pristine, clean things, organic kale or, or brown rice or different things like that. They're discovering there's heavy metals and all of this stuff. Uh, I was just reading an article that some of the very best brands of chocolate they've discovered have lead in them. Well, beca because the plant is grown on soil and where does the, well, all of this stuff that's happening, how, how it's fertilized, all the environment, things, just the rain and the wind and everything bringing all these toxins around everywhere. And we, we do have normal detox channels. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff in, in our metabolism to help us remove that, but it, uh, we're just being inundated uh, at a progressively increasing rate that it's just hard to keep up with everything. And so this compounding effect of day-to-day 
uh, burdening our body just by breathing air, drinking water, eating food, uh, uh, touching stuff, uh, you know, transdermal intake of, of bad stuff. It's, it's just everywhere. How can we do this? And what can we do about it? Where do they come from? It, it's everywhere. Again, the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water, household chemicals, manufacturing, and there's literally thousands of chemicals out there. This idea, uh, the human body, it's marvelously made, but the problem is it's our environment. It's the environment that's a defective, not, not you. Uh, oh my goodness. And here we are. How can we get better if our environment were, you know, if somehow we could magically get all of this bad stuff and then move to the Garden of Eden going forward, wouldn't that be wonderful? But we're back out in that same environment that made us sick. And it's all, all of us. I look at this idea of, you know, the camel is out there. And we've all heard, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. And in an, an analogy, every one of us is a camel. We all have a body burden. Uh, some camels are already on the ground with broken backs, but all of us have some burden. If somehow we could recognize and, and find a way that could remove that burden off our backs, even if we're not even aware of it. The body has enormous capacity to carry a burden. And the best way to treat a problem is not get it in the first place. Why wait till you're on the ground with a broken back? Get that burden off of your back now. It's such an important thing. Uh, I was just reading a thing on microplastic that is discouraging. Uh, uh, they estimate that about one third of these little tiny nanoplastic particles that are everywhere is actually coming from the clothing that we wear. All of these synthetic fabrics that last and we all love them. I love having technical wear and skiing, you know, that makes it waterproof and yet breathes all of this wonderful stuff that helps living life better through chemistry. We like it, but just kind of imagine, okay, e even something that's trying to be ecologically friendly, you're, you're wearing a jacket and it was made out of recycled pop bottles or whatever. Well, just the abrasion of washing and wearing it sloughs off little tiny nanoparticles. And again, about one third. So a lot of times we think plastic, that's bad stuff. And we think about that little or, or big uh, island of plastic that's just floating around uh, and it's all these uh, water bottles and different things like that but just think about washing our clothes again and again and it's made out of materials that just don't break down that's wonderful that they don't break down except they do break down not chemically but a particle size smaller and smaller and it's in all of us what can we do all of these other things, so just being in the house, it's likely that inside the air is worse than the outside because of just the outgassing of all of this stuff that's in building materials and all of this stuff that's around us. Uh, I just all sorts of scary, scary stuff. It's in the headlines everywhere. 100% of all fast food restaurants have samples of heavy lead. Again, a lot of the synthetic materials, AstroTurf uh, Astro is full of chemicals, even supplements can have bad stuff in it. Uh, oh my goodness, the infamous study where uh, umbilical cord blood was tested and there's hundreds of toxins, just all sorts of, of scary stuff. Here's some thoughts right here. The contaminants found in Americans' food and water contributed to a minimum of 226 billion in healthcare costs. That's just, wow, the endocrine system disrupting. And, and that's how a lot of these chemicals work is they disrupt just the normal biological pathways of how bodies are supposed to work. And again, if we just did it a little bit, it wouldn't be so bad, but just a little bit again and again, compounding day after day, building up, building into our bodies. And oh my goodness, it's just a really, scary thing. Uh, and, and how can you get away with it? You just, it's there. Uh, you can't move somewhere. And here's the thought right here. We will never be able to rid our modern world of this toxic problem or out nutrition it. Metals, pretty much every single biological reaction that takes place in the body depends on minerals. They're cofactors, they're catalysts, they're, they're involved in reacting, all sorts of things. We need them. They're essential. 
And heavy metals, what they do is they compete with our friendly metals, the good ones, and uh, they have a superior or I don't, I, I hate to use the word superior. They have a greater charge and mass. And so they just win in that contest of taking over uh, the space of where those healthy minerals are supposed to be. And no matter how much is an example, if you've got mercury competing with magnesium, the, the answer, we all need more magnesium, but no matter how much magnesium you give, it's not going to make the mercury go away. Could there be a solution to all of this stuff right here? Well, that's the thing I'm really excited about. And this is uh, the, a message of Avini. We've got a lot of wonderful things to share, but specifically, this should be the tip of the spear. This should be front and center of everything. If you think in a real fundamental idea that, yeah, we want to give our bodies everything they need, but equally critical is we don't want to give our bodies what they don't need, but being in this bad environment, what if we could just simply and elegantly, in a wonderful way, just take drops, put them in our mouth, and this stuff wonderfully goes around our circulation, which has been proven clinically, and it grabs mercury and lead and cadmium and VOCs, and all that bad stuff, and safely removes them out of the body through urinary excretion. And clinical tests show that's just amazing. Uh, it's, it's totally unique. This is a, a whole new category that was created. When we hear about detox, there's some wonderful things that we can use to detox, whether it's cilantro or, or chlorella or, or traditional uh, zeolites that, that have been used for hundreds of years. Uh, they're really good, but essentially all of that stuff works in uh, conventional methods of going through the digestive tract and depending on the liver and other uh, aspects to, to make things go away. Uh, what if you could actually take this zeolite, specifically a form called clenoptilolite, and make it so tiny that it enters the bloodstream and goes up and down every blood vessel looking for these bad things. So it actually comes on site and, and grabs the stuff where it is. And it does it just in a wonderful way and, and selective. Uh, it leaves the good stuff alone, the, like magnesium, but the mercury, it loves mercury, doesn't care about magnesium. Wow. I just absolutely what happens. And, and if you look at what Rick has said here over and over again, uh, this does not cure anything. What it does is it gets rid of bad stuff so that the body can fix itself. A cleaner, healthier body fixes itself. And this is something... When you hear micronized, when you hear activated, these are terms that Rick coined in his creation of zeolite 20 years ago. Millions of bottles have been sold and it's been around a long time. I can't believe how many thousands of people have been helped. Me personally, six years ago, I had a miracle happen with these products. And so I got on board and I thought, wow, this helped me. I believe it could help other people. And so we got a lot of folks sharing the word. And so here we are. Uh, and, and yet, okay, here's a V that we're all excited about. It was founded in 2022. So that's two years. Uh, what, what's exciting is in two years, uh, we're looking at the facility here, all of this equipment, all, everything, we do it all. Uh, the, our own research lab, our own brilliant biochemist who creates all of these unique, exclusive products. It's all bought and paid for, debt-free. Everything, all the raw materials are paid cash on the barrel, no uh, receivables. Just a really strong company. And yet we're talking about this product that has a 20-year track record. Well, interestingly, uh, Rick uh, goes back again about a quarter of a century as we started uh, uh, this Dr. Uh, hearing about Rick and following him for many years, uh, asking about him. Uh, he, he's just got a really storied past, uh, inventing lots of really cool things, uh, being the chief science officer for uh, several uh, billion dollar companies. And yet here's this new company. Oh, the reason is up until this point, Rick has always worked for other companies, making things for them. And myself, I've used Cell Defender under four different labels in six years. I, I just keep following it. And I, I think of the term inspirational dissatisfaction. Enough dissatisfaction was created in 
him uh, being a vendor for other companies and, and they kept uh, taking this product, taking their company. And if you can imagine the company as a vehicle to deliver products to people, uh, the person driving that bus uh, would, would leave the road and go off into a ditch. And after several of those experiences, they finally decided, okay, I guess we're gonna have to drive the bus. And uh, we've got a really good bus driver. Uh, Neil Roth has been friends with Rick and worked with him for uh, over 20 years. Uh, Neil ha has a storied past. Uh, he's uh, uh, started out in, in really technical things, wanted to be an astronaut, but uh, had some uh, uh, health challenges with his knees and uh, got kicked out of the astronaut program. But okay, a nuclear physicist, uh, a genius in math, but, but he loves people, loves business. Working through school, he was uh, working in a grocery store, eventually got into drug stores, and uh, he's smart and works hard. And in a growth environment, when drug stores were buying each other out, all of a sudden, uh, at a pretty young age, was a senior executive in a billion-dollar company and eventually was really top-level in a billion-dollar drugstore chains, but working 70 hours a week and was in, and introduced to Rexall, probably because of his background with drugstores, this brilliant idea of taking a trusted name, Rexall. Uh, one time that was uh, probably a Rexall drugstore in pretty much any town in the U.S. So somebody got that idea to turn it into a major nutritional product company and market it through network marketing. Well, Neil found out about that, got involved, became a triple diamond, so a leader in that. Uh, Rick was the chief science officer in that company, and they had a wonderful thing going for many years until uh, the owner sold that company. And so we could repeat that over and over again. Doug Dickey is actually a personal friend. I've known him for 30 years. Um, he's a, a real ambitious guy, very smart. I remember when he first got involved in... Uh, uh, just some unique ways to uh, fertilize, uh, I, I would say more than just fertilize plants, uh, just a whole new concept. Uh, he, he's got an album of, of pictures of uh, trees all around the country that were dying, uh, uh, historical, just gorgeous, wonderful trees. And, and he would bring them back to life. Uh, you'd see before and after his treatments. Uh, uh, the guy is a genius in... Uh, helping things grow in just a, a whole novel way. Just a really super cool guy. Personally had a, a life-changing experience with specifically the zeolite and that became his new life mission. And to the point where he came to Neil and Rick and says, if you'll start a company, you, you got my total commitment. And so he's the, a, a magic person that makes things happen in the company too. So we've got a very closely held company with three very good, dedicated, trustworthy, competent uh, people. And all of us, we've all had several rodeos before, so it's new. And yet we've got years and years of experience. You know, think about this. We've got uh, a biochemist that's done billions of dollars in product creation over many years. Uh, we've got Neil Roth, who's done billions of dollars in directing major corporations. We've got people in the field who have uh, built a billion dollar uh, field organizations. And so uh, it's, it's really cool. I'm just happy to say in all of my history of being involved with some really cool products and wonderful companies, uh, right at this moment, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm in my game. This is the best company I've ever seen, the best people, the best product, the best pay plan, uh, the best time. You are at the right place at the right time. And it just fits into this wonderful idea right here is if you use Avini products, our mission is to make your body so well of so full of wellness, uh, there's no room for illness. Uh, the best way to treat a problem is never get it. May you never know uh, what you're preventing. And, and fundamentally, uh, what we talked about is if all of your cells are healthy, you cannot be sick. And so we're looking at products that work on the cellular level uh, to help you be healthy. And oh my goodness, uh, one of the reasons why we do it the way we do is word of mouth is the most effective way to market. And so all of our marketing is telling stories. And Vini Health 
avinihealthtraining.com or avinitestimonials.com, we've got just, wow, over 1,300 indexed testimonials. So look that up. And if you use these products, probably you're going to have your own story. Well, where do you see yourself fitting into Avini? Well, one of the most important things I would encourage you is look at this, learn more about this. And if you're interested in health, if you're a label reader, you will fall in love with Avini because we got the best labels. <laughs> but what's in a label truly is in the bottle. So it's products you can trust, uh, people you can depend on. And uh, it, it, it's amazing. Now, all of us, we ought to be customers at least. But being involved in the business, what's really fun is so many of us, we began just because we're in love with, with a product. And, and we love the product so much that we become an, an owner a distributor. And so you can actually have your own business, which I think is one of the great American dreams. I, I believe anybody that's ambitious has probably entertained the thought that one of these days, I, I would love to be in business for myself. There's such a wonderful feeling. I think fundamentally autonomy, just the urge to direct your life yourself, uh, be in your own driver's seat. And that certainly includes uh, owning your own business, uh, deciding and determining your own income. And the thing I love about this is it doesn't have to be some dream down the road when you get enough money and learn enough to, to start this business and, it, and the scary thing of financially exposing yourself to uh, lots of risk. You, you can start right now for just a nominal amount of just getting product at a special uh, introductory, what we call activation pack. And, and and you can write that off because that's a tax deductible event because you're starting a business and you get a really cool deal on some wonderful products. Again, you should be your own best customer. And here's a way to, to get some products, start using them, sharing them with other people, and, and then just sharing them uh, at the level where you could pay for your own habits, so to speak, or actually build an income. My, my feeling is if you present this to somebody and in their mind, if they thought, and they really believe they could make 500 a month up at that joint. And, and if you could show them how to do that and they were, they would never leave. And of course, powered by amazing products that are life-changing, you're going to do it. So these are the packs. And so any way from $299 to $999, just pick the pack that would be appropriate and then just get started and then sharing with people. That's pretty much all it is. Everybody pretty much has heard of heavy metals, body burden, toxicity. So we have low hanging fruit when we look at Avini. Everybody knows there's a need. And yet what I've found is I would say probably 80% of the population have not even heard of zeolite. No one has heard of clinoptilolite. When you start talking about micronized and activated and all of these things, once in a while you'll hear like Chris at the beginning about a doctor that already and knew about Rick Dietz. Most people have not heard of, about this and this idea and concept, and, and yet it's so simple. It's such a, an easy thing. And so what we recommend, highly recommend, is get back with a person who invited you to, to look at this presentation. Ask if you can learn some more. We've got a, a wealth of, of things you can watch. There's things that you can read, white papers. You can do some research on your own. This is filled when you think, okay, I've never heard of zeolite up until this time. But once you start looking around, you think, oh my goodness, there's a lot of strength and backing. And then doing a timeline, the, the unique way to deliver it systemically, just using a timeline, you can see that it all goes back to Rick Deitch. There's a few other companies that are uh, using some of his buzzwords, even copying his studies and, and even testimonials. But why not go to the guy that invented it that really knows how to make it? And so my, my personal opinion is anything else out there is an inferior product using our terms and our ideas. We, our timing's right. Our market's immeasurable. Everything is there. And we got lots of really other awesome, awesome products. It's all based on this idea that I love from John Maxwell. He wrote a book called Change Your World. And in this is this really neat thought. I experience something so life-changing that I change. I share something so life-changing that you change. 
we facilitate something so life-changing that others change. And, and that's what it's all about. Uh, our work, our relationships, our lives succeed or fail one conversation at a time. That's, that's what this is all about. It's just every day having conversations. And then, wow, if you think in, in terms of where we are with all of this, the timing's right, the market's immeasurable, the opportunity's yours. Avini, I believe, I'll go on record, I believe this will be a billion dollar company. Right now, we're doing maybe a million a month. I, I believe I'm, I'm just going to go out and say, I, I think five, six years, we could be doing a hundred million a year. Uh, 10 years, we could be doing a billion a year. Uh, maybe not, but I believe we are. And uh, I'm betting on it and come with me. And I believe you'll be glad you did. We're going to have a lot of fun helping so many people because if we become a billion dollar company, that's going to represent a lot of wonderful things happening out there. Wonderful things, one person at a time. And we need you on the team. Your body needs these products and so do your friends' bodies. So let's go do this. Thank you and love you all. And oh my goodness, let's do it. Thank you for joining the Magnetic Leadership Podcast with Dave Johnson. Take charge of your health and detoxify today with Avini Premium Products.